is possible to have people with this life. The longer than the chief. Just slightly longer than the chief. But they're open. You know, and so like there's a driver, and then there's something next to the driver, and then there's like uh, two rows oh, so facing each other. But, you know, and they hold probably five hundred three, maybe they hold. Yeah, uh, I'd say. I'd say. Well, yeah, maybe cheap 12 people comfortably. They call it cheap meat? Cheap meat, yeah. Cheap meat. But they're like broadly decorated and they have like all the sort of metal designs. They all have names. Yeah. I mean, they're not arguing with anything. They're like, they're like, they look like circus guidance. Really? Only the jeeps, yeah. Right. I mean, this is pretty... And the way you tell where you're going, it's like there's like all these godly decorated things they have names like the Lucy or yeah. I don't know. That's the city. God only knows yeah. every every name you can imagine. I'm going to New York or something like that, you know. It's crazy names across the phone. But in the in the windshield they have the names of the streets they go down, so that's the only way you know. and the paint on the side. So they're regular routes. But there's not a public transportation. Yeah, so it is. It is? Yeah. They just sort of slow down at every intersection and see who's going to jump on. They just sort of jump on. Mm -hmm. And, you know. That's how you move around in the Philippines. In Manila. Manila, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, in every city there's Jeep. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the city transport. I when I was there, the Jeep me drive was going to go on strike, and it would be like a disaster because mm -hmm. there's no such thing as really city buses that Jeep me or so. Are they open? They covered or? They covered. Uh, well, they're not covered. I mean, the towns covered, but they're just open. Yeah, so. just like posts up in the roof over. And yeah. Yeah. Because it was the same. I don't know. They're like, great. I mean, they just each one is different. They just. There's a little personal state that's driving through the city, you know. Dude, they, they're doing something similar in... Yes, it's really neat. And in a lot, of these eastern, a lot of the eastern countries do that lately. Yeah. And yeah. then the, the pedicabs used to be the same. They had the bikes along the new cart, but uh -huh. now they're kind of like sort of modern. Where they, just have, they just have like a plastic bonnet on the whole seat. So they used to also have the same... I have no yeah, idea. So I, I, I thought they looked like like uh, cabriolets. Oh, calaces with the horses. No, with a roof that you can sort of fold back or whatever. Maybe I'm. Oh, yeah. Pedicabs. Yeah. Pedicabs. Yeah. 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 That's not plastic, you think? Yeah, that's, that's not. Plastic. Just like a plastic thing. Yeah. The cheap ones. Yeah, but it used to be like a really nice metal. <coughs> so there's no cabs. luxury, no luxury pedicabs or luxury. I didn't say any luxury pedicabs. The Khaleesas are the same. They're the horse mm -hmm. with the two big wheels, so the horse drawn thing. And they're still, you know. And they still run horses. The jeepneys are exactly the same, only mm -hmm. maybe. So they look like they look like Puerto Rican taxi cabs then. What? You've never seen. You never, well, Puerto Rican taxi cabs are all decorated. Well, these okay. are decorated. Jeepneys are just different because they're, they're different vehicles. They're yeah. like jeeps. Yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah. Well, in in, in Puerto Rico, what they did was they took all of these car. jeeps from the war and they just converted them to these yeah. public transport, and they're still running. Sure. Or either that, or they just decided that was a good design, and they just kept somehow coming up with these things. But no, they're probably keeping them. It's running. probably yeah. It's probably the same. Same ones. engines for for thirty, forty years. Don't need them like they used to. And yeah. if it's really dry, then there's no rust. It's not really dry. <laughs> it's yeah. not really dry. There's really no big city. But I don't know. They put it off. You, they got the good stuff. Have you had definitely. dinner or are you eating anything this evening? What? Are you eating? Eight. Have you eaten? She had some, some macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's right. They came in. You just finished. Yeah. What are those things? What are those? That's a umbrella handle. Oh, that's right. Broken. The way it is, this is with another funny thing that happened in Korea. It's like, in Korea, you can never find anything if you're looking for it. 
Mm-hmm. And I just can't. Don't look for it because you can't find it. Can't ask anyone. <laughs> anyway. But when you least expect it, it'll pop up. And mm-hmm. then you've got to buy it because you'll never see it again. One day it was raining. And uh, you know how this one rains? Everybody buys it. An umbrella because it's raining. <laughs> they're, they're very cheap there, so it's like it's just close to ride them anyway. Well, the umbrella of the day had this. No, I was just. This pig head. Pig head as a handle. It's like this really ugly little character of a pig's head. And that day, I was like, for some reason, I was all around town that day riding in the circle. Everywhere you look, there's just people. Everybody had this fucking umbrella, umbrella that this horrendous pig said hand. <laughs> they just bought it that day, and you'd never see it again. And then the next rainstorm, it would be like something else. Suppose <laughs> people have a great collection of little umbrellas. And <laughs> they they really yeah. box them to pieces. They have big buildings there, maybe. Like what? All modern new buildings. Modern new tall buildings, so there's a windstorm, the umbrellas get ripped to pieces, probably. I don't know. They just dispose them. Maybe it's tough. Are the elements rough there? A lot of winds and... It's cold. Cold. It's really cold and really hot, I gather, and that's about it. Well, that's right. It was sort of winter now, when you were there, right? It's northern hemisphere, not winter. Yeah. Which you're in the Africa, right? Cold yeah, February. That's right. Usual February. Cool. February. Cool. I was hoping to escape February. What did I get? <laughs> Korea in February. Really? She'll know better next time. Now, how about, is it Korea? I should have called my uncle and asked him what it, it was, was like. It was worse. When I was there, I thought the fucking Korean War had to have been worse than the Vietnam. There's nothing worse than that fucking cold. Oh, it was cold? Any of that? Really? It was a mile from where I was there. Mm-hmm. Or so they say. Of course, they always say that. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh, you ain't seen nothing, man. You should have been here. This is the same thing. I mean, this was fucking horrendous. Well, are you going to be ready to go in 10 minutes? No. Yeah. I'm trying to go next door and take some marijuana along just in case I feel like smoking on the way out. Around the corner down there. Okay. Sounds good to me. We're going to be out in here in 10 minutes. So we'll knock on your door. And then she's just going to run out in and out of you. Okay. Okay. That jello juice is really good. Yeah. <laughs>